In this video, we will design this uh, planetary gear. So let's get started. First of all, select file, click on new, select assembly, click OK. This window will appear, cross this window, cross this as well. Now select front plane, sketch, and we will make a circle here. Escape, make a circle again at the center. And then make uh, a circle here and select circle and uh, make a circle here as well. Now select smart dimensions and set the diameter of this bigger circle as 80 millimeter and then set this circle diameter as 40. After that select smaller circle and the middle circle and make relation tangent. Similarly select this smaller and this medium circle make relation tangent then this bigger circle and this smaller circle and again make relation as tangent after that select these two circles and make the relation as tangent just as we have done with the other circles now press the control button on your keyboard and select all of these three origins and make relation as vertical now here it is fully defined By default, this uh, smaller circle diameter will be 20 millimeter. Exit the sketch. Expand this. First, we will go to this uh, toolbox. If you do not have this toolbox, click here on add-ins and select this so SolidWorks toolbar library. You need to check both of this option and then click OK. After that, scroll down you need to select this ISO in that you need to select this power transmission and in that gears drag the spark gear here in the environment you need to uh, specify these um, design parameters I have already specified these parameters you can copy these parameters okay as we need another spark gear so click here on this environment select this uh, spark gear and make it as float then move it here after that drag another spark gear in the work environment and you need to specify these parameters uh, just change the number of uh, teeth and after that click OK as we do not need another uh, spark gear so cross the window and now it's time to import the internal spark gear in the environment drag it here and specify these properties I have already specified these properties again I will say that you can copy these parameters from here click OK we do not need another internal spark gear cross the window select here rotate and rotate all of the gears like this okay now in reference geometry select axis select this front plane and the origin of the smaller circle and then click OK an axis will be appeared let me show you the axis this yellow colored axis at first it will go hide but don't worry uh, it can be appeared from here select axis again now select front plane and the center of this circle click OK after that select X again select the origin of this circle front plane click OK and here we have all of the three necessary axes after that click on mate select this internal surface cross uh, this axis because we need this axis too we need to fix it here click OK 
now select front plane and the back face of this uh, spark gear click OK we will do same procedure for all of the spark gears select the internal surface and this uh, axis one click OK and now front plane and the back face of the spark gear just like we have done with the previous gear and then internal surface of this spark gear and the axis 3 and then front plane and back side of the spark gear rotate this select the back surface ok now select the outer surface of the internal spark gear click on mate and select this axis 2 click ok as there is no need of uh, the axis 1 2 and 3 so hide all of these axes one by one and then hide the sketch as well hide the sketch now it's looking fine now select move component this move component and align the teeth of all the gears such that there is no interference or meshing between the gears their teeth should not touch each other one by one adjust every gear now it's okay after that select mate select mechanical then gear and select this internal surface and this internal surface set this to 20 for the bigger gear it's also appeared here okay check this reverse option and after that click ok now select this uh, internal surface of the bigger and smaller gear and set this to 20 this ratio should appear here now uncheck this reverse option and then click OK now select the inner surface of the smaller gear and outer surface of the internal spark gear we need to set this to 40 it's appeared here uncheck this reverse option and then click OK now let's rotate these gears so we can see that one of the gear is uh, not moving in the right direction this one so let's adjust it from the, the these options select this option edit features and we just simply need to uncheck this reverse option after that click OK now let's rotate these and uh, verify the rotation now these are working fine now let's apply some color on these gears I'm applying the yellow color on the spark gears and the blue color to the internal spark gear after that go to the motion study expand this bar adjust frame per second to some higher number click OK and then uh, go to this motor before that um, 
expand this to 12 seconds or 10 seconds then go to motor option select motor option and uh, adjust the speed to some lower rpm 4 or 5 okay okay so i have made a mistake select the mate option expand this bar select the front plane and this back side of the internal gear we did it all uh, to the spark gears but we forgot to do it with the internal gear now it's fine again go to the motion study and select here calculate these are working fine let me show you if uh, this tutorial was helpful for you then please hit the subscribe button and like the video thank you